Hello friends, I'm Dr. Rohit Batra from Dermaville Skin and Hair Clinics and also a consultant at Sir Gangaram Hospital. And today we are going to talk about fungal infections or as commonly known as ringworms or jockey. It has been seen in our OPDs and all throughout the country that jockey, ringworm or tinea cruris or corporis that are the fungal infections are growing by leaps and bounds in our society. People come with lot many patches all over the body which are red in color with rings or slightly raised border and at times having some dandruff like scales all over the body especially the private parts that is the groin area or the intertriginous area like the underarms but nowadays it has been seen that fungal infections like tinea corporis or tinea fasciae where the patches grow over the face ear and any part of the body are becoming very common. During our residency days, we used to see tinea not that frequently and tinea fasciae that is the patches on face and ear was very, very uh, rare in our OPDs. But nowadays, at least 30 to 40 percent of our OPDs are filled with people suffering from tinea. So what is tinea or fungal infection? Well, it is caused by a dermatophyte fungal infection which grows in the intertriginous areas of the body where the fungus find it convenient to grow because of the moist environment and warm environment. But nowadays it has been seen that many patients of the same family comes to us and are suffering from fungal infections. It is though not contagious but it can spread from one to another in close contact because of the use of the same towel, same clothes and uh, because of the usage of the same linen where the fungal spores or the scales of tinea can get communicated between two family members. It is though not an STD but nowadays it has been seen that close contacts might give rise to spread of fungal infection in the family members. Well, the treatment options include topical creams containing azoles or allylamines, which are the first line of treatment. There are people who self-medicate, go to a chemist and get themselves a cream, a tube and apply themselves. And most of these creams contain a topical steroid, which gives instant relief in the fact that the itching vanishes, the patch is not to be seen on the next day itself, but because of the steroid, the fungus stays there in the body. It grows, grows silently only to come back with a more uh, big patches, more uh, patches, red patches and at other body parts also. So if you are suffering from a fungal infection, make sure you do not self-medicate. You visit a dermatologist who depending upon what sort of a problem it is, how extensive the problem it is, will give you a treatment containing a topical antifungal, containing an allylamine or an azole and at times when the fungus is more extensive, more body parts are involved, we also give oral antifungals just like terbenafin, fluconazole, itraconazole for approximately two to four weeks depending upon the patient condition and in a dose depending upon the weight of the patient and thus give you a quick and a sure relief. Antihistaminics are also added to give you relief from the itching problem and at times antifungal powders are also prescribed as something for maintenance to take care that all these intertriginous areas where the fungus is bound to grow back and is more common is not treated if is not treated completely doesn't grows back so don't self-medicate with these antifungal powders also they can be detrimental at time so if you are suffering from a fungal infection make sure you visit a good dermatologist who will give you a topical oral and at times uh, powder based antifungals and give you a complete relief and it will not spread in your family or at other body parts 
in your body too. So visit a good dermatologist, do not self-medicate and make yourself fungus free. Thank you.